बहुत खाना खाया है मन नहीं चल रहा है Welcome back to another episode of Road to Valiant Season 3 powered by Bridgestone India. Now, in this episode, we're going to be doing an intercooler upgrade for our Hyundai Verna 1.6 diesel. The last episode, we did servicing and some maintenance bits here and there for the X5 M50D, but in this video we're going to be focusing on the Verna. This is the intercooler that we're going to be fitting today. It's a Garrett core and it holds up to 300 horsepower. It's rated up to 300 horsepower for any car. It's a universal intercooler, not really a Hyundai specific part as such. Hyundai doesn't have the greatest aftermarket support, so sometimes you have to do with some custom parts. And all of the custom piping, hoses and everything needed to fit this intercooler is going to be done today here at IES Performance. The same guys who do our exhaust system and other fabrication work related to metal. So it's a bit of a task to fit this thing because the original intercooler is a vertically mounted intercooler and this is basically a horizontally mounted intercooler now for comparison this is a thick af intercooler as you can see it's pretty big and it's very chunky now i'll show you the stock intercooler for example i'll just keep this over here and this over here is the stock verna intercooler it's pretty small not really that big and it's vertically mounted in the car so fitting the new intercooler is going to be a bit of a task but the boys over here have everything sorted out and today we're going to show you the complete installation process This is the Hyundai Verna and as you can see they've uh, mounted the intercooler temporarily for now just to see the fitting where to bolt on the screws and all of that stuff and if you see over here Shreyas will put a layer of B-roll now there is a massive gaping hole over here that's because this is where the original vertical intercooler was fitted in the car so yeah basically we have this much amount of free space in the car looks kind of weird but the intake and everything comes over here and covers it all up so at the end it's going to look pretty much normal one thing that we were scared of is that because this is such a thick intercooler there was a chance that we might have to maybe shave the bumper from the inside or you know do some sort of a cut piece job kind of for, for the bumper that is something that we wanted to avoid and we have successfully avoided it now the bumper is going to fit in and it's going to be a flush uh, installation on this car which is a good thing because we want the car to look stock we don't want them to look something out of the blue like this Honda Civic over here so yeah let's see uh, we're going to start putting on the screws start mounting the hoses and hopefully this car should be done by today a big shout out to bridgestone india for sponsoring us yet again for our third year in the valley run now you must already be familiar with tires like the balanced b series or the performance oriented potenza line of tires or even the comfort oriented turanzas but bridgestone has now come out with an all new tire specifically designed for our indian roads the bridgestone sero comes with some state of the art tire technology stuff like a carbon tread compound with strong reinforcements a double ply construction wall and 3d tread for optimum grip better safety and all weather usage what is more impressive is that the sero compared to its competitors has 29% more tire life and when it comes to designing this tire bridgestone india took into account the usage of the average indian consumer and this tire is specifically made for our indian roads so if you're looking for a tire which has amazing grip all weather usage and amazing comfort the bridgestone sero is the way to go So 
they'll just give me a couple of temporary brackets to understand the fitment a little bit more. Uh, after that, they'll start to make the permanent brackets and the permanent bend pipe and all of that stuff. So they're still experimenting in the fitment of the intercooler. Yeah, so let's see what happens. So we have some unfortunate news. The intercooler is not going to get done today. Maybe it'll get done tomorrow. I know this is going to be very last minute. Today is Tuesday. The races start on Friday. And our category, the diesel category is on Sunday. So it's not really that big of a deal. Hopefully it'll get, get done tomorrow. I am not sure if we'll be able to film uh, the proper installation. Currently they're working with Mild Steel just to get the temporary uh, measurements and fitment of the pipes. So they've done one side, now they're going to start working on the other side. Tomorrow the whole thing is going to be made in stainless steel for the final welds and everything. So I don't think that is going to be filmed, but you've gotten a gist of how the intercooler is going to be fitted. A little bit of a difficult task when it comes to custom intercoolers like these because the fitment is always not made for this particular car. So it's a universal intercooler, you have to do all of these Jugadu techniques and measurements to the finest margins because the thing is an intercooler is a very the intercooler is a very important part when it comes to building boost. And if you have a leak in your intercooler or if the bend pipe and anything is not correct, well you're not gonna make boost. In fact, you'll make less boost than stock. So that's not a good thing. So all of this is very important and these guys are taking it all the way down to the finest margins. So the next thing that we're going to do is be fitting the lowering springs to this car. So maybe the next shot is going to be just doing that. The intercooler is fitted, the air intake is clean, most of the maintenance is over and now it's time for the springs. Stock spring, brand new spring, the bushing is nice and thick, out here is pretty worn out as well. Soft, pretty, not useful, very useful, nice and tight, looser and stiffer, so it's gonna do the job perfectly. Let's put them onto the car. The Verna build is completely done. The lowering springs have been fitted, the intercooler has been fitted and the stage 2 map that facilitates the intercooler has also been done. Now the car is ready for the valley run and all that is left is to see how does this thing fare against its competition. Thank you so much for watching, I'll see you guys in the next episode. Also, before I sign off, a big shout out to Downshift Store for giving us this amazing looking team kit for the Valley Run this year. I know this stuff looks absolutely amazing, so stay tuned on Instagram and get to know more about Downshift Store. We've shared all of their social media links down in the description.